All right, all right, guys. <laughs> Welcome to our first uh, YouTube roundtable on building, building season. <laughs> uh, I know some of you guys have seen the post of Michelle, uh, aka your healthy Hillista. Your healthy Hillista. And uh, on Hattie as well, and um, uh, a lot of you had questions, uh, a lot of you kind of recognized themselves uh, within their post, and we're here to discuss about it, uh, how we feel. Share the it. real story Shell, of the share build. Share the real story of the build. So, one thing I can say to, to, to lead off, like to make it kind of easy to understand, like the building season is actually, we're giving raw material, to your body <laughs> uh, to be used to build more muscle tissue. Uh, a better physique. <laughs> a better physique. Yeah. Yes. Because sometimes it's not just about putting on size, yes. it's about changing your symmetry. Right? Exactly. How everything looks, the final piece. And of course, when you start contest prep, it's too late. Yeah. Contest prep is about shredding away the bit of fat that you must necessarily put on during the build. Um, yes. <laughs> And what you're left with is all the hard work that you put into your building season. So, the building season is key so to good. creating that stage physique. Yep. It essentially sets you up for your comp. <laughs> um, and, you know, like we've spoken about, and I guess had a lot of interest, I think both Michelle and I, um, in particular, when we talked about building, was, oh, you feel that same way too? And yeah, we do. We yeah. are, yeah. you know, we are we are athletes, we love being shredded, and we can get shredded. Oh, yeah. So, you know, you have to, you've got to go through the back of the mind, you can't just go through the gray, you know, you've got to go through, like, especially when you're professional athletes like, like we are, yeah. we have to work that much harder and, and almost smarter and, and have to push those calories and, you know, um, someone who's really inspired me this particular round um, in, in this year's comp prep is actually um, Michelle and, and seeing me. her go through this journey <laughs> because, um, you know, uh, Michelle is a phenomenal athlete, as you've seen, and an amazing coach. And to see her coach herself and listen to her coach herself is um, really inspiring. Yep, I and I guess this is what's really sparked off this particular YouTube, which I think a lot of you are going to be like, oh, thank God, you know, we feel the same way. But how do we coach ourselves through this process as athletes? Um, so does anyone else, does anyone want to start off with how they feel and I guess their, their journey through it? And well, it's, um, I, I guess I'll start because for myself, it's a little different maybe than, 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 the, than the girls from a standpoint of I love eating, uh, I love food. So, well, okay, I guess what I want to say is for me, um, eating more food, um, I kind of love it. I kind of really, really enjoy it. Uh, I love like kind of pushing that boundary to say, okay, am, am I going to be able to add a little more? And I love a lot of the action of eating. So, um, funny enough, that, that kind of discomfort uh, that maybe the girls could experience, and girls, you can correct me if I'm wrong, um, I don't really get it. The part that for me is a bit more tricky, like Michelle mentioned, is to see some of the shreds going. Uh, I love being ripped. I love seeing my abs. I love seeing my quads feathers. I love seeing my glute striations that are now completely vanished. <laughs> Last time Michelle took my glute, my glute pitch was like, oh, it's kind of thick now. Um, There's something there. <laughs> so, so for me, the, the, the really important part, um, gaining that little bit of extra body fat uh, to change my physique is, is to focus on different things like in the gym, how stronger I get, um, and the pump I'm able to get in the gym, uh, how I look after a session looking massive. I, I like to think of myself as a, as a phenomenal CrossFit athlete. Uh, they do everything. They run, they lift heavy, uh, they finish a wad, they look like, they look like God. <laughs> for me, having that feeling really helps me keep on going into, into that journey. Yeah. I think, um, so for me, this is going to be the most focused. Mm -hmm. This late in my career, I've been lifting for 10 years, and I started lifting when I was 39, I'm 49 now, and um, and I feel this year really challenged to um, to embrace the idea that there's still stones mm -hmm. unturned. Yep. And I hired a coach um, about six weeks at the end of my prep uh, <clears throat> for the first time. Um, 
uh, at my last show, uh, Shelby Starnes, and um, and a really phenomenal coach, and he's, he's well versed with female athletes, and I, I really trust him, and um, did an amazing job with my contest prep, and um, <laughs> sorry, I've got a little cold, and um, I told him, you know, when I when I saw my stage photos, I was so happy with my stage photos at the at the show, but I could see that I still wanted to, uh, I still didn't have the size that I need to have on my legs. Um, and just for me, myself, I, I would really love to, to have bigger legs. Um, my legs were about 19 and a half inches in circumference um, the day of the show, and I would really like to put a solid inch on my, my thighs. Um, I like to be 20 and a half inches on stage, stage day. And my glutes as well were quite, uh, quite um, small. They were very, very defined. I'm really, really happy with the work I've done so far. They were, I had striations I've never had before in them. Um, but uh, I'd like to put another inch or more mm -hmm. on my glutes. So I wrote to Shelby and I said, listen, these are my goals. Um, I want to be just as conditioned, if not more, on my next um, show. And I want to put an inch on my thighs and my glutes. And I like to give specific metrics like that versus I just want to be bigger. I, I'm very goal oriented. I like to measure things. That's how it helps me get excited and passionate. Um, and and he told me, you know, well, you're gonna have, have to put on at least 15 pounds, and that's a lot of weight for me. So I, about I seven kilos, six and a half kilos for those in kilos. And I'm yeah. five foot two. Um, I usually go up to about 120, 121 pounds um, on my off season, and I'm usually only that weight for a couple months, and then I start my next cut. So we're talking about me going up to 130 pounds. About my weight. <laughs> And staying there for five months and just really um, getting some nice muscle tissue density, just really kind of permanent um, muscle tissue that will last through the next diet phase. And I have no idea what that's going to feel like. Um, you know, one of the ways that I've helped to stay focused is uh, to um, find old photos of myself and do some comparisons. So you're going to see some of that on my Instagram. I compare like, okay, this is what I look like at 116 or at 119, um, sorry, two years ago, and this is what I look like at 119 now, and I can see a tremendous difference in terms of muscle quality, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. symmetry. So absolutely. I'm like, okay, so maybe my 130 is gonna look like how my 122 look like, and yes. so that's a carrot I did with myself, and it helps me to be super organized um, with my food, um, really focus on um, intensity, keeping my intensity very high, really following the protocol of progressive overload from week to week. This is the first time I've really trained my abs as much as I have in my building season. Um, even in, even in, in your cutting phase, like you trained them a lot. Is that in your abs training? Yeah, I'm talking about the building yeah, phase. Yeah, like yeah. I'm really, really feeling my passion, my excitement really, Back. really high. Mm -hmm. yeah. Number one, because I have somebody else looking over my progress that kind of takes a lot of the emotion about the decision making about food like i got my calories increased really really fast with shelby i, I went from um i think i was around 13 1400 uh, calories a day on my cut with daily cardio twice a day cardio at the very end and now i'm on no cardio and 2900 calories um it works out to be about 180 grams of protein, 350 grams of carbs right now, and 90 grams of fat, which I've never <laughs> had any of in the last few years. I never run high fat on a daily basis. Especially yeah. with high carbs. Yeah. yeah, especially with high carbs. And it's, um, but uh, I think my, my um, how I'm balancing out my meals, I really, I've had meal times now. I figured out how to get my meals in. So my first meal is like six, and then I have a cookie and a hot chocolate. Um, it's a protein powder for my pre-work, I get that in. So I'm just really pacing myself so I'm um, staying on top of my, my food and I kind of am competitive about that. Like, okay, Michelle, mm -hmm. today you're gonna try to get this meal in a little bit faster. I'm trying to make things work so that I'm hungry, hungry when I go to bed at night. So I'm getting my appetite up, so hopefully I'll be able to increase my calories from here um, if I have to, to keep growing. Um, so I hope that kind of helps like, Having a clear measurable goal, one sure. inch. Mm -hmm. Having a kind of a goal. Structure. Structure. Structure, right, yeah, structure mm -hmm. support. Having a goal weight, like I want to be at this weight by this time. I really want to be at 130 by the end of February so that I have five, six more weeks to put on another um, 10 pounds. And I think that can be, you know, if I just keep timing everything, my meals, my intensity in the gym, right, I can 
maximize muscle protein synthesis and minimize um, body fat that fat, body fat. Yeah, both gain body fat for sure. But um, minimize how do you minimize that? Yes. Yeah. And stay excited yeah. about minimizing that. Yeah. Um, Complacency tends to happen in maintenance or building phases because mm -hmm. we can get addicted mm -hmm. to the numbers going down and it's quicker for the numbers to go down. I mean, when the numbers go up quickly, it's like, <gasps> and as Michelle said, it's like being super focused, having the same discipline with your meal structures and how you structure your meals, you know, in your building phase to minimize that lipogenesis, that, that minimize that body fat gain and maximize your protein synthesis or muscle synthesis and really make sure you're following that protocol because when it comes to dieting, the only thing you need to change is taking away some food. Everything's set in stone. Yes. You know, you can, you've, you've got that work capacity already. You've, you've focused on your recovery. Year and round, you're your habits. Yeah. That's what you have to do as a pro athlete. And I don't want to be so honest. Like, this is the first time. This is what's so exciting. Like, this is the first time that I've been in Mexico with these two. And we're not all dieting. Like, normally we're just all like, <laughs> I'm dieting. Now it's actually the opposite. Um, and we're all this, you know, oh, I'm about to. Like, I guess I'm building my calories up. I put my calories up by 400 calories. Since I've been here with you guys, um, yeah. which is you know, is, which is amazing, and um, you know, thanks for the inspiration, and you know, having these conversations, um, you know, really, really, really helps. Um, you know, and Jay and I were talking the other day about you know, people look at their building phases as their calories are building, but we need you need to get to a certain amount first, you know, that certain surplus, and then stay there. You know, as a minimum of five months, and Michelle has to hit that top end and hit that, that weight goal, which is really scary for her. She's never been at that weight before. And then she has to stay there. <laughs> yes. Right? Yeah. And I live in a tropical... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she's okay all the time. Yeah. <laughs> so I hope, I hope I wear 130 well. Yeah. <laughs> so, and I, I think I'm a little different, like for Michelle, um, I don't need to put as much muscle on as Michelle does. Um, I, I I have a goal of like yeah, right again. Muscle. She, <laughs> she is muscle. I have muscle. <laughs> um, the only place I actually want to grow muscle is my glutes. Um, so I actually want to put an inch on my glutes. But you know, with that is going to come body fat. So again, that food structure, getting um, you know, waking up earlier to get food in, um, maximizing and having higher cal calories and carbs around training windows, and, mm -hmm. and having those uh, smaller meals throughout the day, and you know, honoring honoring that process. Um, I, I have a tendency to, um, you know, it's hard for the scale to go up for me. I, I cannot lie about that. That is something that, um, you know, I struggle with. And if there's ever a time that I really need to work with a coach, it's actually in a building phase purely to just keep me pulling towards that calorie, you know, that mm -hmm. calorie target and, and hitting that, that, um, that uh, I guess, weight target that I want to hit. And, Keeping the intensity high and the training exciting, and not getting too distracted by the mirror, because um, often the times we see ourselves in the mirror, it's not really what we see. You know, it's often how we feel. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But it's been a real, you know, pleasure to watch these two, and as I said, in particular Michelle, like really go on this, you know, ex a scary but also exciting right. journey. Yeah. Um, you know, there's still there's still t uh, stones for all of us to unturn. We, we can never stop evolving, and that's the, the beauty of this. And how do we do that with an, like an anti-age? How do we do that in, in a way that's smarter and doesn't, you know, I guess exhaust the body too much? Yeah. Um, but yeah, as I said, you know, coming here, I've increased my, my calories, which feels really good, and now just continuing that process. Um, you know, I'll start my cut end of April for the Worlds. Um, I want to bring something completely different this year, and as I said, putting that inch on my glutes. Yep. <laughs> and I like numbers and um, you know in the past I have to also be honest with this is I've never really been 100% um, with tracking my data in my foundation season or my building season and, and this year is the first time that I'm tracking the numbers every week the measurements um, and being really onto that because just like Michelle's doing she's going back to her progress photos when she was at this weight and comparing them to where she's now I'm going you know what I might be the same weight God I look different so and, and, and that's empowering and, and I fully regret deleting all the old photos that I was like oh I look so awful that that's data to look back and go you know what I'm not that weight now I actually look so much better now and, and you can see that progress because over mm -hmm. the years we build Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, and I feel that seeing it from a perspective that uh, you're an athlete really helps. So mm -hmm. looking back, you know, taking photos, looking back at data, sometimes there's photos that you're like, huh, okay, let, let's see in two weeks. And then you do a comparison and you're like, oh, okay, at these data, that's how I looked. 
Don't lose my mission.